Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So today I wanted to come to you ladies and gentlemen with a few things that I always keep in my bathroom. Some of the items are must haves, I think <laughs> women and men could benefit from them. And the other items are just some body items that I'm just like hooked to. And I hope they never ever go out of stock or be discontinued. So the first thing I'm gonna jump into are the body items. And let's start with my lotion. Listen, this Kiehl's, I hope you guys can see that. This Kiehl's lotion, oh my goodness guys. This bottle is the 33.8 fluid ounce. It's a one liter. It's about $80, I believe, but I'm almost halfway done. I had it for a while. This makes your skin so shiny. I've never been into lotion before because I just felt like it makes me hot. Um, and also, being from New York, all that walking in lotion, it's a no-go. But this, oh my gosh, guys, this is like amazing. Now, it is expensive, so for those of you guys who do not want to spend $80 on some lotion, they do have a smaller version of this. They also have the cream version. I tried it first, did not like it as much as this one. So this is a must have and I'm probably going to forever keep this in my bathroom. All right, so that's the first thing. So that's the Kiehl's um, Creme de la Corps and a 30 and a 33.8 fluid ounce, which is one liter. The second thing is, oh my God, this body serum. Can you guys see? I hope it's, I hope so. I hope it's like, you know, doing something. Um, the Necessaire, the body serum. This is the, it's fragrance free guys. This is no fragrance. So the reason why I like this is because soon as I get out of the shower, and I think this was like 40 or 50 bucks. As soon as I get out of the shower, I put this on and then I do all my other stuff and it has hyaluronic acid in it and it's a pump which is awesome you don't need a lot of it just kind of distribute it through your body but fellas if you have a wife <laughs> get her this and get her that lotion trust and believe me I am going to link everything below for you guys she's gonna be really really happy and I'll show you the third item that I also think that fellas <laughs> If you have a wife, get this for her. And ladies, if you don't have it, get it. This is the, I think it's called Way. Pronounced it by Way because I keep saying key. The Way um, Scalp and Body Scrub. Now, the thing about the Way, I don't even know if this is even focusing for you guys. The thing about the Way is that it is for the scalp and body. So most people would be like, oh, I don't know about that, right? Oh my goodness. This is like my fourth. This must be my fourth container of this. And, oh, it smells so freaking good, okay? It's kind of thick. It's a body scrub. Can you guys see that? Let me see, I hope it zooms in. I don't have my glasses on today, so I don't even know how it's looking for you guys. Yeah, so, mm, it smells good now. This is expensive too. I forgot how much this was because I just keep it in rotation. But I will tell you this. You don't need a lot. It soapies up kind of like, I don't know. I feel like it has like a lotion feel to it. It is. It does have a scrub. So if you want to like scrub your knees and your feet and stuff like that, use a glove. Make sure you're using a glove. You don't necessarily have to, but I would recommend you guys using something. I know there are people who do not use rags. <laughs> Um, so use something to like rub it on, but this is my all time favorite as well. I used to use another one from Target and that was by a brand. I'm going to see if I can find it and link that as well. That's really, really good for the price. The only thing with that one is that it's very oily. So if you are a person who does not clean your shower out after every use, you're going to slip the next day because it's like the oil just sits there but it smells really really good i'll link that one too because that one's like six dollars guys so 
these are the three things that I will always keep in my bathroom for my body, okay? I'm not even gonna talk about, about excuse me, talk about the Dr. Bronner's. <clears throat> That's just like a given. If you're not using Dr. Bronner's soap, get it together guys okay that makes you feel so good so that's a part of this and i've been using that for for years like sometimes i'll go back and forth with other stuff like mix it in but i always feel like i don't know not fully clean <laughs> until i use my dr bronner's and then i'll use like other stuff to like add the moisture back because it does strip the moisture from your body so if you are a person who gets really dry definitely make sure you have a really great lotion or a moisturizer um you can put some serum on and some like good good moisturizer so those are the three things that i will not get rid of and i will always have in my bathroom and that are must-haves for me all right so let's get into the i don't want to call them electronics i guess they kind of are <laughs> the first thing is my my water pick now this is a big water pick guys it's a big one and it's actually it's by water pick also <laughs> it's a big one but they do have smaller ones if you have braces if you have Invisalign's if you don't have that you need a water pick okay on top of having an electric toothbrush you definitely need one of these and you want to be careful because this one has multiple settings so I do have, it's like a string. I do have one in here already that it comes out and you just like pop it back in. But it also comes with others inside this little case. And can you guys see that? This is one of the brushes. It comes with all of these, okay? So if you wanna switch it, you can. Um, you have some that have like a little brush at the end of it. You have some that have like a thin little thing, I guess for like, like look, this is like if you have like some serious, is it gonna zoom? Listen, I don't, I don't have my glasses on today, but I don't feel like it's zooming in for you guys. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know. Let me, oh, come on. You know, it doesn't want to zoom in guys it's a really small I don't know what's happening it's a really small like it is rubber at the tip so if you have like stuff stuck this is also a really good one to use so definitely think about getting you a water pick I think everyone should own a water pick even if it's a small or a large one like I said they do have like really small ones that you can just stick on your counter I was extra, so I got the big one, all right? And I believe this was like 59. I'm gonna link a couple of them for you guys, like smaller ones, and then I'll link this one if it's still available, but I got this from Best Buy, so. And the water goes in this tank here, simple. You have different knobs here, just an on, you have a two on and off buttons, on and off on the actual base, and on and off on the actual water pick itself. And then you can go up to a side to a, to a 10. Now, I was told by my dentist not to overdo it because it could mess with your gums. But these are really, really good to have in your arsenal. All right. The second thing is, and this is for the face. This was not expensive. It is rechargeable. So I can charge it up and I can take it out when I want right so this is the brush for your face and it's by Conair it's really old I had it for a long time but I love this thing this is silicone clean it it comes off okay you want to keep this clean I think I paid 30 bucks for this but this is <laughs> probably one of the best things I have for my face um, I didn't bring it into the into my closet but if you have the money to always purchase white cotton cloth for your face, I would say do that as well. I love to keep them in my bathroom 
You could also use baby rags because they're thinner and they're very soft for your face. So like after you clean your face off and you wanna pat it, you can definitely use baby rags or like just white cotton cloth. But this is my face scrub and I absolutely love it. So, and the final thing, you guys have seen this probably a year, maybe two years ago. This is my steamer. This is the Vanity Planet steamer, right? I absolutely love this. Pair this with the Neutrogena 299 face mask. Oh my goodness, this is the best. Now, fellas, if you have a wife, <laughs> And she goes to get like facials and stuff like that. And in between her facial, she wants to do like a slight little steaming. This is definitely it. It's very simple. In the back, you put the water in here. I have on nails, so I can't even open it up. Let me see if I can get it open. No, I can't. Oh, yes, I could. Um, you just slide it up. You put your water in here. Now, I do use, they say distilled water. Um, it says, caution, water tank is only meant to hold distilled water. Do not fill tank with essential oils or other liquids. I use spring water because I don't keep distilled water. However, you can use <laughs> distilled water. They do recommend this. I have a hair steamer that it does recommend distilled water. Um, I've been using spring water. It has not broken on me or anything like that, but definitely use distilled water so those are the three items that I will never get rid of that are essentials in my opinion for my bathroom and the other items are for my skin guys so let me know what you guys think what are some things that you keep in your wardrobe not your wardrobe <laughs> in your bathroom that's a must that you would never get rid of and that if it broke you would definitely be replacing it let me know what you guys think um these are things that i use there are other things in my bathroom but these items here i'm always gonna have them in my bathroom like always i may actually replace my water pick because it takes up so much space and get me a smaller one but other than that all of this stuff will remain in my bathroom so I leave this God given earth guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh wait, and I'm on TikTok, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.